The last piece of Talks Profiles, Opus 68, is the longest of the six pieces, and it's the loudest. It's also relentless. Uh, let's just hear the opening. It says, vigorous and hammered. It's very orchestral. It you know it just makes you think of a mass of angry people, uh, like a revolution or something like that. Um, a lot of energy, but as a player, you have to take care of the musical aspect of this. It cannot literally be hammering and angry. Otherwise, it gets overbearing and it no longer serves as a music, I think, in my opinion. So what I do, what I try to do is to sing the eighth notes. <laughs> sort of like focusing on the humanity of it all. <laughs> It's like, like two-dimensional, it's like one color, it's all forte, no other musical indication except for the first vigorous hammered. Here we get a little break from the composer, it says mezzo piano for the first time, it changes register, it's not no longer the hammering octaves. <laughs> It drops a piano, but this piano is tense. You know that this is a drop because it's going to build up. And sure enough, crescendo. drop to mezzo forte but with an immediate crescendo so now we get a counterpoint twister mind twister um, but it's really awesome um, okay in tempo <laughs> Thank 
this is very exciting. It's O fortissimo. It's a recap of the. <laughs> It's in five again, like the number five of this set, but uh, this time the propelling forward motion is even more energetic. It's forceful. <laughs> And then here comes fortissimo, three fortes, maestoso. That's the loudest. So until now, you have to be in control. You can't totally let go. You can't just enjoy playing loud. Here, you can be as loud as you want, except I still think this cannot be ugly. It has to have a catharsis to it, um, not just distraction. <laughs> and it says sempre martellato. Uh, it's like a, it's it's hammer, but also string technique where you sort of make an ugly uh, uh, like a crunching sound and it says cut off sharply